Let's talk about your camping EDC. You know, the gear that you have to have on you. You know, not talking about your camper, your food, you know, just the items that you know that you have to have with you in order for your trip to be, let's just say, successful. These are the items that I know that I'm going to need with me to make sure that my camping trip is successful. I don't want to forget about anything. So first off, let's talk about the Vortex bag that I've got here. That I actually won from Best Damn EDC. Got a couple pockets up front. You, know, you can put items in there. Got a zipper up top and a main zipper right here. And on the shoulder straps, I've got pockets here and loops to add on other essential gear here as well. And of course, a carry handle. Before we get into the bag though, let's talk about the items that are on my person. So starting in the left hand pocket, this is my Dango wallet. Got leather on the outside, got a hard metal in the inside so my cards are not flexing in my pocket. We went camping this weekend, so this is the gear that I took out with me. Don't tend to always carry the wallet on me because you never know how the weather is going to be. You know, it rained quite a bit this weekend. So this wallet actually spent the majority of the time inside the camper, you know, where it's safe and out of the elements. Didn't necessarily need it on me. And also in the left hand pocket is the rock toll. This is a very awesome camping tool. It's got a pliers, got the replaceable wire snips. My favorite piece is the hammer on the bottom. I actually use this quite a bit for hammering in stakes. Uh, we had a couple tents up. We had the um, uh, roll-up mat. You put stakes in there. Had some uh, other stakes that uh, we had for uh, this eating tent for the family. So use this to pound in. It was absolutely great to use that for. And the fun part on the way back is I could actually use this piece here to hook on the stakes and pull them out. That aside was one of the most used tools. Um, we had a propane Blackstone for camping and so the hose we got was having some problems so I actually had to use a couple of the other tools um, the small tool here for the um, I call I call it a glasses uh, screwdriver had to use that to poke into the hose to bleed the line long story short the hose was shot had liquid of some sort in it just bad holes all together the other one I used quite a bit was this um, I had to use this for twisting things on the uh, ATV. I can't remember the exact reason I had to use it, but uh, came in handy. So right then and there, four things I used right off the bat. You know, this tool has a, you know, a fire starter and a whistle. I used the lighter. I'm sorry, guys. We weren't roughing it. We weren't really out in the woods. It was a family camp out, so it wasn't going crazy. But I didn't need to use that. Um, I used the pliers quite a bit as well. I actually had a breakdown with one of the ATVs, had to use the players, had to use a couple of the other tools inside here to uh, just get it up and going. Um, <laughs> long story short with that one is uh, brother hit a tree, <laughs> took the rear tire completely off. So the tire was just hanging there. So and he had to uh, take the wheel off, uh, work out in the woods. We grabbed some tools and uh, we had the jimmy rig it. So to get it back up to the campsite, I ended up sitting on the front of the opposite side of the rear tire that was off and we kind of three-wheeled it all the way out of the woods until we got up the campsite um, had some tie straps up to hold the a-arms from flopping on the ground and the drive shaft from digging in the ground quite comical but what we did worked man coffee was a lifesaver so on the right hand side of me my right pocket i always carry my phone I actually forgot my camera this weekend, so had to use the crappy camera on the uh, phone, but it did do. Still excited to get a new phone because I really don't like the camera on that phone. And on the belt here, because I wasn't always wearing a belt all weekend. So on the side here, I carried the leather pouch here. It's a 29 Sparrow Leather Co. Very cool custom piece. It's got a belt clip. I can also carry that in the pocket like I did sometimes as well. So I carried everything right in there, but a lot of times I kept it you know, pretty much on the belt for the most part. In there, I had an Olight. One very important piece for me when I'm camping 
is a flashlight. This is the i3T, very simple flashlight. It was small enough to fit in here without taking up a lot of room. And of course, I've got a polka pen. Love these pens. Very light, easy to carry with me. You never know when you need a pen. So very simple, easy pen to carry. No, lightweight, very easy to uh, put back in and out. And the knife of choice is this Bastide. Absolutely awesome knife, great for camping. Believe it or not, uh, it didn't get very dirty. I carried a bunch of knives with me, so this was just one that went with the bag and uh, went with the aesthetics. I just got it too, so I was kind of testing out and see how I liked it. Fits really good in the hand. This is the Vasteed, and I'm gonna butcher the name, so I'm just gonna put it down here so you can see the uh, name. <laughs> I don't wanna butcher it, but I like it. This is the first thumb disc knife that I've ever carried, and I like it. It's got a deep carry pocket clip. It is in the 14C28N. Very nice just EDC knife as well. Put that right in there. And put it right on the belt here. Very nice out of the way. And of course, the fixed blade. This is the CDC Salvation. Since it was Saturday, of course, I had my Salvation Saturday on me. This is an S35VN with the Choo Choo Train bead. This thing took a beating. This was kind of my main go-to. Like when we were in the woods, I had to cut some branches really quick or something. There's a lot of falling down ones and I like to go up there and grab it. I did a little batoning on it. Uh, I put this thing through the work, that's for sure. Came back home this week and cleaned it up and uh, a really nice fixed blade. Keep that on the side as well here. So that was what was on the person. Let's go over the bag. All right, so this is the Vortex bag that I carried. And up front in this pouch, I carried a pair of mechanics gloves. Get dirty out there in the woods when you're ATVing. You definitely want a pair of good gloves, lightweight. You never know if it's hot or cold. And up top in this pouch here, I carried some essentials. So this one is one that I don't want to go without. This is the Dickinson Trading Post. I can't remember if this is the version two or version one, but it's great. On the back here, I've got the Invisalign case. You know, every time I eat, gotta put them in there. And you know, I'm gonna wear these things for about a year, so they're gonna be important. And then, so of course, you're gonna need a toothbrush. Put the toothbrush right in there. Perfect. And I also got a Marksmith pen here from Soulbuilt. Never know when you need a marker, and this one is so nice. Titanium. Why not have something cool if you're going to carry a marker? Carry one and find out how many times you really use it. Of course, on the outside here, I've got a re collaboration. You'll see these soon from Inky EDC and myself. Got a mutant shoot, got a Vastid and high class problems on the Data Crew stacks. I use it as a zipper pull. The inside there, got some toothpaste, some lip balm, you never know, and uh, a toothpick. And a flosser, I guess you could say as well. Things that uh, I need, and I know that I'm gonna need these, so very important tool for me. Next inside there is a couple Ranger Eyes in there. High Class Problems, Brady, West, Pete's Pyrolux, Data Crew, Notorious EDC, and uh, Deodorant. And up here is my watch. This is the Rockwell Coliseum. This is the Rider. I really like this watch. I carry a lot of uh, orange and green when I'm camping. I'm kind of weird like that. Great watch. Um, it is the fit one, so it does track my steps. And on the outside here, like I said, flashlights are extremely important. Just drop this video if you haven't seen it yet, the T4. Such a cool tactical yet uh, EDC flashlight. And I mentioned I like to carry it out here. Never know when you need a flashlight, they always come in clutch. And on the outside here, you know I carry a lot of knives. I'm an EDC guy, we carry knives, what can I say? This is the new knife I just got this weekend as well. Oh yeah, this is the Urban EDC 5.5, super nice knife, M390. I carry a lot of knives with me, mainly because you never know when you need a blade. Um, sometimes I like to rotate even when I'm camping. Um, like I said, that doesn't always stay there, but that's where it is right now because when I left camping and I came home, that's where I left it. Also, I have another fixed blade here. This is the Demco, the Armager 2. Cute little guy. <laughs> and these always stay here. 
Same along with another polka pen. You never know when you need a pen, they come in clutch. I'm telling you, you can never have too many items, especially when they're lightweight and out of, they stay out of the way, I guess you could say. Let's talk about the big part. All right, inside here, I've got a field notebook. You never know when notes come in handy. They come in handy more often than you think. Of course, this one's got some lines in the back for measuring. You never know if you need those. And I've got a Hank from Awesome Hank with a choo-choo bead on there as well. Awesome Hank is one of my favorite Hank makers. And uh, when you're camping, you never know. Got to clean those glasses. And for me, glasses are extremely important because, well, I'm not blind, but uh, I rely on these. These are actually my prescription glasses. Let's transition and talk about it, actually. Uh, when I'm camping, I got to wear glasses. Sunglasses are extremely important to me. And these are prescription. These are some Ray-Bans. I really do like these a lot. And uh, also carry my regular glasses with me as well. So switch them out. When I'm camping, I am very protective of my eyes. Eyes are extremely important. If you can't see something, well, you're out of luck. And that's where I said a hank is extremely important. Also cleaning your knives. Another flashlight. This is the Wuben E7. I not only wear these myself, this is the headband style, but I give these to my kids, my family members. You never know, light is another thing. What goes with your glasses, you gotta be able to see. And at nighttime, you never know. You just gotta have another uh, you know, way to see things. <laughs> Once again, flashlights are extremely important when you're camping. And I'm carrying a hat in there. It got cold this weekend. Um, I had my kids wear their hat quite a bit this weekend. For me, I'm always wearing a hat. And you never know if you need a extra hatchet, cutting up some wood, you know, another blade. Blades are extremely important. So this is just a small tomahawk that I carry with me. Doesn't take up a lot of room, so it's just easy to carry with me. And a blade sharpener. I carry it on this Dango lanyard. This is from WorkSharp. You know, I can strap things up really quick. It's actually what I use this mostly for. I don't spend a lot of time sharpening knives when I'm camping, but it's something I can have with me. Tape, duct tape, and a little electrical tape. We were ATVing this weekend, so you never know if you need these things. I'm telling you, be prepared. Uh, just a little tinder dust if you do want to make a fire. And of course, an extra lighter. This is a butane one. Of course, I'm not going to be able to get the light out here because I probably used the heck out of it this weekend. And it's got a you know, bottle opener, corkscrew, an extra blade. And I like to carry paracord with me. The best thing to do is carry it where it's convenient. So this is wrapped up. You can pull this out. I believe this is like, gosh, I'd have to double check. I, I can't remember exactly, but it's about 20 feet, I think. So I'll wear this along with wearing my watch as well. And another light. I know you're like, Mike, why do you carry so much light? Well, it's important. This is the Wuben X1. This is that 12,000 lumens. Definitely check out that video. This is, this is a cool light. My kids got a kick out of it. We're shining across the woods, seeing a ton of stuff. A very cool flashlight for sure. And this one's more for me. This is a handbook for Boy Scouts. I got a 29 Sparrow Leather Co. slip in there to see what page I was on. What was I reading here? Oh, I was reading about uh, uh, safety for your hatchet or ax. This is more for me. I, someday when my kids are older, I'd love to go through this book with them and show them, you know, needs to uh, just survival, you know, just basic survival tips. So this is more, like I said, when my kids are older, but I like to carry it with me. And it all fits inside there. This is a... Uh, Got loop on the back here, so got a bunch of ranger eyes showing off a bunch of cool people in the community. So let me know down in the comments, does this look like something you would carry with you? Am I missing some stuff that should be with me? Am I carrying too much stuff? Is this a good grab and go bag? Like I said, this is stuff that I carry with me that I have to have when I'm camping. We didn't go well, out in the woods bushcrafting, you know, we got a camper, I have two kids. We didn't go anywhere crazy. We just went camping for the weekend, it was a long weekend. With that being said, everybody have a great week and make sure your coffee is stronger than your toddler.